Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to use a data table in your Flutter application. So here I have a simple um, Flutter application which displays the pricing plan of a particular product and um, it's basically an horizontal list view. So and I have used data tables here. So this is the first plan and this is my second plan. This also is the data, data table and this is my third list view. So first thing, what is a data table? A data table is nothing but when you, whenever you want to display your uh, data in terms of row and column feature, we could use that. Now you might ask me why are we not using rows and column widgets here? So what happens is when as and when your design gets complicated, if you try using rows and columns, it becomes very difficult to maintain those nested row columns or it becomes very difficult to maintain it. So or readability. So in order to overcome this, we go for data table, which is very simple. So and there is also situations where you have to go for row and column widgets. You can't avoid it. So before you start uh, working on your design or start implementing it, you should understand which suits better. So in this scenario, I would say a data table would be a better option rather than a container with row widgets or column widgets in it. So I'm going to show you how to implement this section because the rest is purely text and circle icons. So I'm going to show you how to implement this section of the page. So let me clear the templates and I'll be back to you. Well, you could see here the page is um, does not have the data table. So we will start implementing the data table here. So the first widget that you would need would be data table. And for a data table, the next two important vital components are the columns and the row. So let's update the row factors there you go it's the column and it has a, a list of columns okay so first is an array of data columns and the next parameter that's important is the rows and similarly it's also an array of type data row so let's get this layout first and then we will start adding the details into it. So we have a row and we have a column. So the column here inside this column, we got to add data column. It's another factor. It's called data column. And inside the data column, it needs another mandatory factor which is the label label is required label is like the column name so how many of our columns you want you have to add so many data columns inside it so I'm gonna add two data columns so that indicates that I need two columns in my table so I'm gonna add say this is my first column and slowly I'm gonna copy this and add my second column there's a comma here okay so i'm going to say second and if i do a hot restart you should see the data table yes there you go you see that first and second so these are the heading of your column now moving on to the row the first in, um, in this data tables, the rows are mentioned in terms of cells. So first thing, like data column, you need data row. Now, inside my data row, I have cells and data cells. So each cell represents each individual data for that particular column. So first thing I need is cells. So the type, it's, it's an array. of cells so first i'm going to add my first data cell like how you have data column i'm going to add my data cell so inside my data cell i can add any text or icon of my choice 
So I'm going to add um, an icon here. So it would be since I've already created a my row data icon, which takes icon value, row value. And uh, it I've placed it inside a list tile with a leading uh, element as the icon and the tile title as the row value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that function because I don't want to keep on uh, repetitively uh, use the icon and the uh, text because I know that's how my format is going to be. So I'm going to use uh, my row data icon function and use font awesome icons and I'm using some cool icons to display database. And then um, so that's my first value. So let me refresh. I mean, do a hard restart. So I should see a database icon here. Okay, I think, okay. All right, this is a very common error that we get because we have mentioned two columns, but we are mentioning only one cell. So it says that there is another data missing. So let's add that and then we will not see that error. So I'm gonna say data uh, cell. So to other row data and I'm going to use a text, simple text saying 30 GGB is the capacity of the plan and I'm just going to give some, okay, let's leave the styling. So I just want to show how it looks like. So now if I do a hard restart, it should work. There you go. So you see, this is your first a row element and this is your uh, second column element so whenever you want to add extra column so I'm going to add another extra column here just to show you how it looks so you use data columns and similarly you add another data cell to indicate the column element and I'm just going to say yes and if i do a hard restart so there you go so you can see the third column also is available with a third element so similarly you can add another row here so to add another row all you have to do is um, use this data row so i'm just going to copy paste here and i'm going to say give another icon cloud and i'm going to say 100 gb and i'm going to say no and when I do a hard, so there you go. You can see the second row also inserted. So this way you can add your rows and add how many of the columns you want. And um, so a couple of other uses uh, for tables would be is um, say, for example, you have a gaming app and you want to display a scoreboard with the players list or the collected points or collected coins if the game has one. So you could use a table in those scenarios so judge your design first find out if you could use a table or a nested row column containers and then you can start designing your apps so this is how you use data tables in your flutter application so hope you like my video if you do please give it a like and subscribe and uh, if you find this video informative please do share it thank you